Well, we're ready for a look at another basic but extremely important operation on vectors. So we already have magnitude, which in a visual case would be the length of the vector. And the vector itself is that quantity that gives a direction and the magnitude. So we're going to look at scalar multiplication. So a scalar would be referring to what you might call the scale on a model or on a map or an architecture's drawings. Um, the scale would refer to primarily our magnitude. Not 100%, but primarily our magnitude. So the concept of a scalar is, well, first of all, it's not a vector. Um, numbers by themselves are considered scalars. And later on, we'll find out that there are functions that are vector functions and there are functions that are scalar functions. But let's look at a simple case. If you have a vector v and it's defined by two components for a two-dimensional case right now, if you multiply by some constant, that constant right here that would be our scale, our scale. And the arithmetic operation just means to multiply each of the components by that scale value. So that's really simple. It, it looks a lot like what you would call the distributive property in an algebra class, but I would not call it distributive just yet. It's just a definition the constant times a vector, we're defining it this way. So let's look at an example just to show you how simple it is um, to look at. All right. I think there's enough room there for the moment. So let's suppose we have a vector, we'll call it u, and it's the vector negative 1 comma 2. So visually, that means if I were to maybe draw the vector here, that's left one and up two units, that would be this vector right there. Starts at a point, it goes left one and up two, so that would be our vector u. That would be our vector u. If I were to want to compute 3u, then I would just multiply negative 1 times 3 and positive 2 times 3, negative 3, 6. And if we can visually look at that vector, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't trust my drawing quite yet. Uh, okay. Please note that vector is in the same exact direction as this one. In an algebra class we might use the term parallel. We will we'll use the use use the word parallel here also sometimes. So the direction is the same. But this one is definitely longer than that one. Let's look at one more scalar multiplication and then we'll do a magnitude comparison. Negative of a vector would be to multiply by negative 1, the components. So that would be positive 1 and negative 2. And if I started here and go positive 1 and down 2, that would be this vector. So that would be negative 
u. So this again we would say is parallel pathway but it's almost like it's going in the opposite direction on a road. Same path but a different, uh, the opposite direction. It did not actually make it the length or the magnitude any different from the original. But it's called a scalar multiplication because of that impact on the possible impact on the on the scalar magnitude of a vector. Now, for those of you that are really quick on the uptake here, I keep talking about magnitude. Um, the magnitude of vector u is the square root of negative 1 squared plus 2 squared. That's going to be the square root of 5. That's the length of that vector. We could use a right triangle to measure it. And the magnitude of 3u, anyone want to take a guess? Well, I'm not going to show the algebra arithmetic here, but it does turn out that it is 3 times root 5. It is exactly 3 times longer than that. We could use uh, similar triangles from geometry or go through the formula for magnitude and reduce it, but it will be the same. But if we were to calculate the magnitude of negative u, it's still going to have that magnitude of square root of 5. Magnitudes are positive. The length is positive. It doesn't, doesn't give the direction. Remember, vectors need to provide two things. Direction is one of them. Magnitude is another. Having only one of these is not enough to, to see a full vector. All right, that's not too bad. Stay tuned for some more vector basics.